Hey everybody, it's Dave. Uh, giving you a little update. It's Friday. Uh, I'm not sure what day it is. Maybe the 12th. Anyway, uh, I was off work today, so um, ran a lot of errands and uh, did a lot of uh, catch-up kind of busy work, but I did get out in the garden here a little bit. I wanted to show you something. Um, I've heard a lot about Jerusalem artichokes. I've never grown them. Never knew anyone who grew them. And uh, so I wanted to try them this year, which I did. We ended up with about a dozen or so Jerusalem artichokes that I didn't, I think maybe I cut them in half. I can't remember what anyway, planted them this spring and I haven't touched them since. They blew over in the fall. They did, uh, they flowered, the bees loved them. I was excited about that. Uh, they're nice to have around it for no other reason. They give a nice um, late season uh, pollen for the bees, which they seem to really enjoy. So that's good. But today was the day and I thought, well, I've got a few minutes here. Here on the East Coast, the, the bad weather's not arrived yet. You can see that it is clouding over and the storm that's been coming across the country that I guess everybody's been looking at and worried about. Um, we're gonna get severe rain tonight. Then it's supposed to just clear off and get really cold, I guess. So um, ahead of that, I wanted to pick a uh, bunch of these Jerusalem artichokes. So like I said, this is the first time I ever did drew some artichokes. I pulled the plants up and there was a clump on the bottom of each one. Not um, <clears throat> not much more than a meal. I, I'm fully aware of the side effects of Jerusalem artichokes and that you do eat them sparingly to avoid, um, what's the word, distress. Yeah, so I'm aware of that. Um, but even then it wasn't a whole lot and I, really had not I've seen some videos and people just grab them they pull them up and man it's like a clump of you know bigger than a bushel basket of uh, chunk of uh, true some artichokes so I went and got the fork and started doing some digging under the two two plants I grew two plants excuse me two plants that I dug up I grew a bunch and I'm in the garden I haven't washed anything off you can see I'm even still from rooting around haven't even gotten the hands yet real good. But I'm gonna turn you around real quick. And so here is the, uh, <laughs> you get it turned over, the Jerusalem artichoke dig uh, for two plants. I haven't weighed it yet. Um, I'm gonna say it's several pounds cause I haven't washed them off. And I wanted to do this video today um, we're going to see my son and his wife, uh, this evening and, uh, taking my daughter back to New Orleans and a lot going on. So, like I said, I just wanted to get this video out. So most of them are about this size. Um, again, they haven't been washed off. I've got a few that are a little bigger and then a few that are a little smaller. Uh, some of my biggest ones, clumps, probably that big, um, most likely going to uh, break those up anyway. Uh, I definitely am going to uh, lacto ferment some of these. I've heard they help. That helps with the side effects. And I'm definitely going to uh, try roasting them in the oven. Um, anybody who's had Jerusalem artichokes, familiar with Jerusalem artichokes, I would welcome any comments um, in the. Uh, comments below just on either how you prepare them how you plant them how you cook them these were grown in a little bit of raised bed because our soil is if you follow me for a while you know i've say, heard me say it a bunch of times we have very heavy clay but honestly these things grew right down in that clay they didn't bother them a bit um i find potatoes and sweet potatoes if i try to grow them in the clay they end up very small very um very undersized and and very um uh, not many of them, but these, uh, these didn't seem to be a problem. So I'm not sure what the difference between the red and the white. I don't know if I was, um, given two different, if those are two different cultivars, if anybody can help me with that, I'd appreciate it. But, uh, anyway, there it is. There's my first Jerusalem artichoke dig. And, um, like I said, you're getting the results before I've even washed them off, rinsed them off, or had a chance to do anything with them let me turn you around again and there we are so um 
If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, do those, do those things that um, help me out, help the channel out, make uh, YouTube realize that people who are self-sustaining and enjoy making their own things, that they have a place, uh, a place and a voice on this channel, on this uh, platform as well. I would appreciate it. And as always, um, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.